Every website needs both web hosting and domain hosting. It's common to get confused between the two since most people purchase both from the same provider. So what's the difference? Well, a domain hosting service sells domains and registers them to an owner in exchange for a yearly subscription fee. Different types of domains have different prices, usually from as low as $10. What a domain does is direct visitors to a specific website, much like the address of a house. Every domain has a matching IP address that sets its location on the internet. And of course, it's much easier to remember and share a domain name rather than an actual IP address. Domains are actually categorized into different levels. The most common would be top level, generic top level, and second level. When you buy a domain from a domain host, you gain ownership of that domain for as long as you pay the yearly fee. But you can't build a website without web hosting. Web hosting is a service that offers space to keep all your files for your website. To be able to buy web hosting, the provider will require that you already own a domain. And if you don't, the web hosting provider can actually sell you one. Speaking of web hosting, there are a few different types. The most common would be shared, managed, and dedicated. And depending on the type of web hosting you buy, you'll have different tools at your disposal. In shared web hosting, a number of websites are hosted on the same server. This is the best choice for small websites. The thing is though, if one of the websites in a shared server gets a surge of visits and crashes the server, all the other websites hosted on there will be affected too. Now, different to shared web hosting would be dedicated web hosting, and that's when you host each website on its own server. Since websites aren't sharing a server, they can have much larger bandwidth for higher traffic. And finally, managed hosting also gets confusing for some because all types of web hosting can also be managed. Basically, it adds a full suite of tools to install and run WordPress, manage files, manage email, plus you have an entire team of developers always at your disposal. Now that we've covered the difference between the two, did you know that some people actually recommend that you should have separate hosts for your domain and website for two main reasons? Number one, if a hacker gets access through your domain, they can then get access to all of your files. They then could lock down the website and transfer the domain to wherever they want, which means you would lose everything. And number two, let's say you pay for web hosting and domain hosting on the same day with the same provider. One year later, your subscription expires and your domain goes into a holding pattern. If you didn't switch hosts before that happened, you could lose the domain completely. Anyways, that's just some food for thought. Now you know everything when it comes to domain and web hosting. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.